Well, hello, friends. Coach Bob with you today, and today we are going to be talking about a beautiful summer riding jacket and what it can offer you. Um, I recently picked this jacket up, and uh, we're going to be talking about it in great detail today. Uh, I really am enjoying it, though, I will tell you that. But before we get going, if you would do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, all that really does help us out a whole heck of a lot. All right. Well, before we get into the details of the jacket, let me just tell you about my thoughts on it first, and then we'll go through all of the features on the jacket. Um, it is the Dionese Sevilla Tex jacket. Now, could it be pronounced Sevilla? S-E-V-I-L-L-A? It could be. However, when I purchased this, I purchased it in California, and there were some uh, European gentlemen in there. And I actually asked them, so how do you pronounce this? They told me something in the road there. Hi. I asked them how to pronounce it, and they told me it was pronounced Sevilla. So I'm going to go with their pronunciation. You can do with it what you will. You can call it Sevilla Tex if you want to. It won't upset me. <laughs> but let's talk about my thoughts on the Dionese Sevilla jacket Tex. It's um, First off, it is a textile jacket, as you can see. It is very, very thin mesh. This is a true summer riding jacket. So if you're wanting a jacket that you go... Well, it's going to be 50 degrees in the morning, and I need something with a little more wind protection, and uh, I'm going to be cold at night. Uh, it's going to drop down into the 50s again at night. Is this jacket going to provide you any comfort as far as protection from the climate as far as when it drops? It is not. This is a true summer riding jacket. So if you're riding in the summertime, if you're riding in places in the southeast, certainly in the Panhandle of Texas. I'm going to say the Panhandle of Texas, and as far as the way it looks and all that, and the people is heaven on earth. But when it's 110 degrees ambient air temperature, and it is like you are going, you are, a, you are in a convective oven, it is literally a living hell out there. You need something like this uh, if you're going to have anything on because, man, I'm telling you, it's hot out there. And you guys that are from there, you know what I'm talking about. You can, you can vouch for me on that one. So again, this is a true summer riding jacket. This is not a fall riding jacket. This is not a spring riding jacket. This is a summer riding jacket. All of the problems that I seem to have are always with the heat. The cold, I, I always figure out a way to deal with it. And I normally carry a couple of jackets when I travel. Um, uh, my Joe Rocket Phoenix Ion, which you guys know, if, you could, if I could only have one jacket in the stable, it would be that. So far, that's the one that's met all of my needs. But this jacket for a summer riding jacket, I have never worn a jacket. And you guys know I own a bunch of jackets. I've got a closet full. Coach Vic tells me I have a jacket fetish. Uh, she could be she could be right. I also have a helmet fetish and a glove fetish. But that's another problem. Uh, this addiction problem to gear that I seem to have, I'm always looking for the perfect fit. And I'm going to tell you, for summer riding, this is the perfect fit. We're going to talk a little bit about the amount of protection that it affords you and all of that after we do our little walkthrough of what the jacket is and everything like that. So let's do that, and then we'll pick up and we'll talk about the amount of protection and how I feel about it. All right, so the jacket itself, you know, it is really, really thin. In fact, I'm going to say it's so thin that you can actually see through the material. You don't sacrifice your comfort. It, this thing can handle really, really high temperatures. So you get a direct airflow over your entire body. And that is really nice when it's super duper hot. The jacket is typical Dionese safety standards you would expect. It has the Pro Shape 2.0 soft protectors in the shoulders and elbows. This stuff is uh, super scientific and we'll be talking about that later. It has a back protector pocket for the G model back protector and uh, also we'll talk about that a little bit later on. The neck adjustment, the waist, and wrist adjustments are all in Velcro, which I really like. I'm not a big fan of snaps on sleeves and things of that nature. 
It's a good way to scratch a gas tank. It is a typical European cut. It is thinning and slimming, and I really do like the way it looks. It's very comfortable. Uh, the uh, waist does adjust in and out, probably to the tune of about four and a half to five inches by the time you look at both sides of those Velcro closures. It has two outer pockets, pretty much what you would expect. They're not waterproof, obviously, and if you think you're going to be getting in the rain, be sure and pull that phone out or whatever you have and make sure you get it in a safe, dry place. As far as reflectivity, so that you're not run over by the old motor car, it has a couple of reflective insert pops on the wrists uh, down low and one across the back of the collar. Again, the jacket is very, very nicely made. The cut looks really slimming. Coach Vic actually tells me it looks slimming when I wear it, which I like. So that way, you know, maybe if I have a bad Thanksgiving or something, I can at least put on a jacket and look thin. All right, now back to the ride. All right, so now you have the details on the jacket. Let's talk about the protection side of this jacket as far as how I feel when I ride. You know, I would talk about minimal and maximal you know you normally don't use those words in the same sentence so let me talk about what I mean by this this is the minimal amount of protection that I would allow while giving me the maximal amount of airflow so this is a motorcycle jacket it is rated as a motorcycle jacket and it affords you some protection However, it is not going to give me the protection of my Alpine Stars. It is also not going to suffocate me like my Alpine Stars. Most people, what I see them do is they get frustrated. They're wearing a jacket that is very protective and they're riding along and it gets hot. It gets brutally hot. And the first thing you do, you go, I've got to breathe because, you know, yes, I, I may get destroyed if I get in an accident, but I'm going to die if I don't take this jacket off from heat frustration. The jacket a lot of times is the first thing to go. This jacket, I don't believe you're gonna run into that problem. It is providing you, you notice that it has this on the shoulders, this material on the shoulder and on the arm, and that gives you a little bit of sun protection, and then you've got this where the wind blows through. I really do like it. I really, really do like it. So it's minimal protection, and maximum airflow. It really is. The jacket is super lightweight. In fact, every time I pick it up, now I am not running the um, nice recumbent bicycle there. I am not running the back pad in here right now. So it feels literally when I pick it up, it feels like a shirt. It does. So I'm going to drop another piece of a video in right here where I'm going to pull the armor out of the elbows and out of the shoulder and I want you to look at this armor and tell me how amazing it is because <laughs> it is all right so let's do that real quick we'll be right back all right so let's get the armor out of this jacket and show you this amazing stuff man science in action it is super super cool so imagine where we were, in fact, I, I can just, even going back just a little ways, I can grab some older jackets and you fill those pads in there. They're crazy. Look how flexible this is. It's almost like there's nothing there. And I'm going to tell you that concerned me when I got this jacket. This is the shoulder pad. Let's pull that out. Let's get the arm pad out as well while we're at it. Arm slant elbow. One of the things you'll notice about these pads is they cover a lot more area. There's a reason for that throw the jacket to the side there. <laughs> and the reason is, in the old day, the pads were so heavy, they made them as small as possible. And that way they only covered a very small portion of your shoulder and your arm. This is the shoulder pad. You can see this thing, it's pretty good size. Look at this. Is that crazy? It looks like nothing. It looks like a toy. It's, it's nuts. Here's the arm pad. Look at that. In the old day, if you wanted level two protection, you had to have something big, heavy, and hot. I'm gonna be replacing all of the armor in my jackets with the Dionese stuff because 
it is just super nice. I'm going to look at some of the newer Alpine Star uh, armor as well that is being sold, you know, as an after thought on the the uh, Alpine Star jackets that don't come in the jacket and see if they have something as lightweight that will afford me the kind of protection that I'm wanting because this, my friends, is a game changer. So this is the, they call it the Dianese Pro Shape 2.0. This gives you level two, CE level two protection. It comes in the lower arm, it comes in the shoulder. Now, again, it's it's lighter. It because of that lightweight, they can they can make it a little larger, cover more area. But again, this provides maximum ventilation and it is super flexible, super light, converts 50 joules basically to nothing. Due to the, the shape of this. It talks about the the um, the penetration of when you're hitting off angled things, how it protects you. It really is true science in action. So be sure and check out the Pro Shape 2.0 armor when you're looking at jackets, and check out the uh, G1 or the G2 back pad made by uh, Dianese. The G1 is just simply smaller for like a woman's jacket, and then the G2 is larger for the man's jacket. Certainly, I believe it's once you get to a 51 size jacket or larger, you have to go to the G2. But anyway, there's the science, there's the coolness of these nice pads. All right, well there you have it, the, uh, the Dianese jacket. Is it for you? I'm gonna tell you, if you're riding in hot weather, you cannot go wrong. And I ride in a lot of hot weather. This, you will see this jacket in a lot of videos coming up because it's riding season and in the south, it is hot. So this is the jacket for me. Um, is it the jacket for you? Only you can decide. The price is around that $200 price point. Um, I'll leave the Revzilla link down below. Uh, that's where I got mine, it was uh, actually Cycle Gear, but Cycle Gear and Revzilla are like sister companies now. Hopefully you'll get you one if you're in need of a nice summer riding jacket. And I'm telling you, man, this thing, it's unbelievable. I was riding the other day, it was 96 degrees, 100% humidity because it had rained earlier in the day. And obviously it was hot, but compared to what I normally wear and what I deal with, this thing, has just been amazing. It's just been amazing. I've got several hundred miles in it and I really, really do like it. All right. Well, there you have it. The Dionese Sevilla Text Jacket. Summer riding jacket, that is. All right. <laughs> so do me a favor. Go out, buy the motorcycle of your dreams, eat right. Oh, yeah. Take care of yourself. And remember, if you're not having fun, you are doing it wrong. Now you go seize the day and I will see you on the road. Real. We'll see.